Now, as we've mentioned, many pundits and experts are comparing what's happening in Afghanistan to the fall of Saigon. These were the chaotic scenes in 1975 as the US withdrew from Vietnam. Helicopters flying above the US embassy have become iconic images in world history. Well, joining us now is Captain Jerry Berry, who took part in the evacuation of the American embassy during the fall of Saigon back in 75. Uh, Captain Berry, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. As you'll know, you hear uh, these uh, pundits on CNN, MSNBC, all this crowd uh, talking about uh, what's happening in Kabul as uh, Saigon on steroids. What are the actual similarities and differences? Well, I, I can tell you, actually, that the biggest disparity is in for the evacuation of Saigon, we had a plan. Uh, there were four options to the plan. I think uh, leadership was a little slow in executing the plan, which caused the, the last option, the frequent win, the helicopter evacuation, to be executed after they shut down the runway with rockets at Tonsanut and Saigon. <laughs> Here in, in Afghanistan, as everything I've read and looked at, there is no plan. This is absolute chaos. And for us veterans, I think, uh, probably shouldn't say it, but uh, President Biden was the diva of draft dodgers uh, back during the Vietnam War. He probably had more deferments than anybody else in the, in the history of our country. So I, I sometimes doubt uh, his leadership ability in these kind of crises. So this kind of thing leads back to the commander in chief of the White House? Yes, everything leads back to there. And uh, that was also part of the slowness in, uh, in getting the evacuation done in Saigon. It's, it's sometimes you have great plans, but uh, if the leadership's not there, not going to happen. Can we talk about the, uh, the day you went to go and fetch the ambassador from the embassy in Saigon? Uh, as I understand it, he wasn't ready, and you ended up flying dozens of rescue missions with uh, Vietnamese and third country uh, staff and so on. Can you tell us about that day? Yes, that's true. I went in for the first flight I was supposed to get him out, and he refused to go. I, I have no idea what to do. So we started taking Vietnamese, third country nationals, and Americans out. And this goes on for the whole day. And then, as we had 75 working helicopters, but as the day went on, uh, the weather got worse. You could see the tanks coming down the road. And at uh, I you're, think you're about talking about three o'clock in the you're, morning, you're talking about the tanks of the North Vietnamese Army. You're exactly right. The North Vietnamese tanks. You could see them on the highway, probably about two or three in the morning. They were coming down with the lights on. Uh, now here's the issue with that. At about three in the morning. We only had two airplanes flying, myself and my wingman. So at four in the morning, I make the call to helicopter direction control. I said, here's the four issues. We only have two helicopters flying. I can see the tanks coming down the road. The crowd at the embassy is still the same size it was at one in the afternoon. And the ambassador's still here. Yeah. So they recognize that. So when I landed at 4.56 in the morning, I made the decision. The Henry Kissinger didn't make it. President Ford didn't make it because, and they had direct calm with the ambassador. The general and the admiral didn't make it. I made the decision that I wasn't leaving the roof until the ambassador was on board. And of course, to give a little emphasis, I told him the president sends, he was on board in two minutes. So it, I think he just wanted direction, somebody to order him out. So yeah. at 4.56 in the morning, we flew the ambassador off the roof of Saigon to the USS Blue Ridge in the South China Sea, and then we went back after the Marines. So th that's kind of the story in a nutshell. Uh, that is why sometimes you're known as the man who ended the Vietnam War. Captain Jerry Berry, thank you so much for your contributions to the Nexus. Much appreciated. Uh, thank you at home and on your phones for watching. Remember, if you want to see this or any of our previous episodes, do go to our channel on YouTube, type in Nexus TRT World. Till next week, then. Goodbye. Well, thanks for watching our program. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and even subscribe.